Hey everyone, it's Mr. Keys, and today we're going to learn about how to identify a key using a key signature. A key signature identifies a key uniquely through some combination of flats or sharps, just like an individual's signature uniquely identifies them as a person. There are two types of major keys, sharp and flat keys. We'll focus on sharp keys in this video and then look at flat keys in the next. Everything we've learned up until now has been preparing us for the very first step in playing by ear, identifying the key of the song. In order to identify the key, you need to know how many sharps or flats each key contains. If we can't figure out what key a song is being played in, then we'll be forced to guess at all of the chords in the song, which is a complicated process. Narrowing down the key also narrows down the amount of chords we choose between. Identifying key signatures is certainly not trivial at first. Identifying key signatures is certainly not trivial at first, but through practice, you'll get faster and faster. We've learned before that every natural key, or white keys on the piano, can have a sharp. Every key has a unique amount of sharps or flats. Since we're looking at sharp keys, let's take a look at the sharps that each key contains. C major has no sharps, G major has one sharp, D major has two sharps, and so on. This is a lot of information, and it seems that it would take a while to memorize all of this. But there's a little saying that can help us identify keys easier. Father, Charles, goes, down, end, ends, battle. This is what the order of sharps looks like in music notation on the treble clef staff. Father represents F sharp, Charles, C sharp, goes, G sharp, down, D sharp, and, A sharp, ends, E sharp, battle, B sharp. If you take the first letter of each word, it identifies the order of sharps that are given to each key. G major has one sharp, so it receives the first sharp, F sharp. D major has two sharps, so it receives the first two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. A major has three sharps, so it receives the first three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. So if you notice, if a key has more than one sharp, it always has F sharp, because that sharp is always included first. The saying holds a little secret to helping us to remember which sharps are associated with which keys. Take a look at the first word, father. The F in father represents F sharp. If you recall from a previous video in the series, we learned about diatonic semitones. Diatonic semitones are semitones that involve two different letter names, F to G flat, for example, as opposed to the other type of semitones called chromatic semitones, which involve the same letter. F to F sharp, for example. So looking back at the first letter in the saying, F sharp, what is a diatonic semitone above F sharp? Well, it would be G. So if we only have F sharp in our key signature, we know that we are in G major. Let's try this with some other examples. What if we have a key that has three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp? Take the last sharp given and find a diatonic semitone above that sharp. Our last sharp is G sharp. So a diatonic semitone above G sharp is A. If we have three sharps, we're in the key of A major. What if we have six sharps? That would be Father Charles goes down and ends. E sharp is the last sharp, and a diatonic semitone above E sharp is F sharp. Therefore, we are in the key of F sharp major. Let's try one more. Let's say we have four sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. A diatonic semitone above D sharp is E. Therefore, we're in the key of E major. So this is how we can figure out the key when we look at a key signature. Now it's time to practice the skill. The following exercise link will generate sharp key signatures and you'll have to identify what key each key signature represents.